Welcome to Breathe with Bexy and to this week's walk. Do you ever feel your time is not your own? Firstly, decide how you wish to spend your time. Try writing out your ideal day, your favourite things to do, people to see, places to go. For me, that's being in nature, seeing family, and also having time alone. Time to create, time to play my music, write my songs. Simply sit in nature and think. To gain control over your time, you have to know what you want to do with it. Otherwise, it's easily filled with other people's wants and needs. Secondly, examine your use of time now. If you write out your past week's use of hours, you can see more easily what you're giving attention to. Be honest. Don't write down 30 minutes of screen time if it's more like 3 hours. Now place the two timelines next to each other and see how they compare. Some days they might be similar. You might be getting into your garden each day as you wish to. Or you might find their worlds apart. Being aware is the first step to making any change. Now you are, you can begin to work on transforming your use of time. Now you have your ideal ways of spending time. The final step is to protect those times. When I've run music projects in hospitals, they close the wards during meal times to ensure people can eat without interruption. The nurses call this protected time and I love this idea and took it on into my own life. Not just for meal times, but for other areas too. Definitely for creating and also for relaxing and restoring. You can create your own protected time by clearly defining your boundaries. I appreciate that for anyone with children or heavy work commitments, that will be a challenge. Be firmer with boundaries and reach out for help from others. I hope this sparked some ideas on how you can protect your own time and reclaim your use of time. Let me know how you get on. Best wishes and deep breaths.